Right, ladies and gentlemen, next up we have female flyweight K1 action over three two-minute rounds as sponsored by Gohan Clothing. Would you welcome first into the red corner, Vic Mason. And shout out to my man Everlast from the House of Pain. Another extraordinary stand-up fighting gym in the building tonight being the House of Pain gym represented by Flick Mason for a female flyweight play one showcase. This should be a real barn burner giving the pedigree of this camp. House of Pain are known for churning out absolutely tremendously tough fighters, Chris. They come to fight, they come to win. Always excited to see these guys compete. And I cannot wait to see the return of this gym tonight. They've always been able to really bring fighters to the table in matchups that were entertaining to the max. We continue here with Flick Mason. Looks very happy, looks relaxed. Her coaches were telling me she's trained really hard for this fight. So I think we're gonna see a fantastic display from this young lady tonight. And she's entered the ring. Let's go back to Malcolm Martin and we'll bring out her opponents. And would you welcome her opponent into the blue corner? Hannah Turner! And now her opponent comes through the fighters entrance, Hannah Turner from Unit 1 Gym. Another household name here on the Lion Fighting Championship. Another great gym team with some stand-up skills that should create fireworks. These guys really love to stand toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and we know what it's like when fighters stand and trade leather deep. And a Turner coming in, really quick feet, feet speed, Chris, and really quick hand speed, so watch out for that. She came charging down the fighter's ramp, and that's a sign of a woman who just wants to get in there and perform, Andy. Unit 1 gym, again, they always bring these people, these female fighters, to really showcase their skills, and they're not afraid to step in here in front of this massive crowd tonight. Well, she's getting the final checks from Andrew Spandex Nichols there. Raises her hands into the ring. It's Anna Turner from the Unit 1 gym in the house. your fighters in the cage, in the red corner. She is 28 years of age and unbeaten in five outings. She represents the House of Pain gym, Flick Mason. And her opponent in the blue corner. She is 16 years of age. She has a record of one win, one draw, and one loss, but 45 junior bouts. She represents the Unit 1 gym, Hannah Turner! The referee, Mr. Sam Amidi. And would you look at that stare down as Sam the man, I mean, he brings these two female contestants together. A nod, a touch of gloves. It's about to happen here in the LFC, Dean. Such an intense stare down there. Interesting to see how these square off when they get going. If the walkouts tell us any bit of the story, they were both in a hurry to get into the ring, and that's a sign of two competitors, two athletes, warmed up, well-trained, Look how tall Turner fights, I love that. Beautiful Muay Thai technique. I love how she flinches just a little bit, moves her head back. A little bit of feints and fakes there. Very technical young woman indeed, Dean. Beautiful team there from Turner. I like the lean back, she oh hey, oh just catches a couple there. She leans back really well to evade those shots. Beautiful technique from both women, this is fantastic. The sign of a fighter with that footwork, Dean, that spent a lot of hours on the pads. She's at one with her body, at one with this fight. She's showcasing it here tonight in front of us. But Flick Mason starting to land those boxing combinations. 
Going with the left kick to the body and the right across both legs. Now going in reverse. I like Mason's tidy work here, Dean. She's making this one a more close range fight. Catches, punches, releases. Excellent work from both women thus far. Mason wants a toe-to-toe -to -toe fight. She wants to draw Turner in, but Turner's doing a good job of trying to catch those legs and evading to her left and right. Lateral movement for Turner is working beautifully. Turner showing the rear tee or the rear round kick. And I love how she just moves her head off the center line and back just enough. Very balanced fighter. Beautiful inside leg kick from Turner. Turner looking down at those legs there. I don't know if she's trying to tie these kicks to try and kick flick Mason off her balance. Mason continues to work either with the right to the legs. Doubling up though with the right to the legs is Turner. You know when you see those welts on Flick Mason's legs, Chris. Wow, ready in the Flick Mason already from Hannah Turner. Blasting those legs low. Another action packed couple of seconds left here in this round. And there's the end. Incredible. And a turn up. So it's spectacular footwork. Able to get off faster and counter better than Flick Mason. But Flick Mason standing toe to toe with her counterpart. Exciting stuff. The fence is secure, the cage door closes. It's round two. Hearing the advice here from Flick Mason, they said be first, Chris. That's good advice because Turner at the moment is dictating the pace. On the back foot there. So impressed with the athleticism and accuracy of Turner. Look at that. Nice body kick there by Flick. And Flick trying to be first, trying to get off first and pressure Turner. Flick needs to beat her to the punch, she needs to get in there and not let Turner circle off to the left or the right. She needs to block her with those beautiful body kicks she's shown us thus far. Thinking about a hook kick was Turner. Nice! That's what I'm talking about. As Turner goes to circle out, she needs to meet her with one of those body kicks. Beautiful hands by Flick Mason. One, two, one, two from Mason. One, two, one, two again. And definitely taking away the distance that Turner sought to exploit. Nice, Turner's, so Turner's evolved her game already. She's catching these kicks. She's, said, she's felt that power, Chris, and stopped herself from going inside. She's gonna catch that kick and utilize it to regain that distance. And she's also listened to her corner advice. I think that's very, very useful, Dean, as you suggested, especially in the cage. We're not fighting under typical K1 rules in the ring. It's a whole different set of boundaries to work with. Again, Flick finishing to the body. Turner looks for the trip that won't score in K1 rules. 20 seconds on the clock. These two girls going toe to toe. Big punches, nice team there from Turner. Over and right in the miss there from Flick Mason. Cutting her opponent off beautifully. Flick's got some nice distance there because she's just staying out of that danger zone and coming in when she needs to. Way, and Turner connects with the left knee. Inside low kick for Turner, but Flick Mason, boxing centric assault to finish off the round. Wow, really impressed with Flick Mason's boxing in that round. She utilized every single strike down the pipe and lifted the chin up of Turner beautifully and put in that right hand after. And the ice goes right to the legs, no surprises there. Red as a tomato, but Flick Mason Definitely played the game of punch the kicker and it paid off in round two. We continue here in the Lion Fighting Championship. Chris Huckster calling it with Dean Midhat. And what a ride it's been, Dean. Turner comes out, interested to see how she changes her game to try and make Flick Mason not be the dictator of this nice catch there, beautiful stuff. And Turner definitely going for it. A lot of power on those kicks. She's planting her feet a little bit more and looking to punish Flick Mason coming in. Look for more of that teep, Dean. Using that teep to get Flick Mason at that distance. She needs to fire off after, she can't just sit back. 
His flick will find her way in there. See that? She stepped off to the right there. Comes in with the right hand and body. Beautiful one, two from Flick. Wow! Jab, cross, landing. Double jab now for Mason. Bam, bam, bam. All oh, those beautiful headshots from Flick Mason. Absolutely outstanding boxing. Turner, thus yet, hasn't used any head movement because she stood in front of her counterpart and she hasn't gone laterally. She hasn't slipped into these punches. She really needs to think about the head movement there. But she's trying to land those kicks. She's looking for the teeth. But Mason charges forward. I like to see Turner go low again like she was before when she's taking those punches to the head. Blast that lead leg of Flick Mason. Make her think about coming in. Make her think twice about firing off these amazing shots she's been doing thus far. And more importantly, you need to chop away at the base to cut away the power of the boxer. That's definitely going to be something that was useful in round one that she has yet to exploit effectively in this round. Turner breathing heavy there. I wonder if that's a factor later on in these fights. Later rounds can play dividends, Chris. Technique can be almost thrown out the window when you're so tired. Flick, flick the teeing off. Turner covering up nice leg kick there. She really needs to circle out of this position. And I cannot believe oh, the yeah. accuracy of Flick as she goes in with the right cross, but Turner hits the rear teeth. Turner still in this fight, eating those shots, still coming back with a beautiful teeth. She's a circle out of this position with strike. Oh, Check huge knee! Knee. Man! Wonder if Flick saw how much that hurt her. But the clock about to run out. Both women toe to toe. What a fight! Oh my goodness, toe to toe war there. Flick finding, digging down deep in her boxing skills. Able in to Hannah Turner to stick up against the cage and take those shots. Chris, I don't know how many more those she can take. Now, Flick Mason may have lost round one, Dean, but. The 16-year-old Hannah Turner showing off a lot of skills throughout this bout. But, in your assessment, was Mason's fisticuffs the key ingredient to perhaps secure the W? Ladies and gentlemen, I think you'll agree. What an incredible K1 pack. Let's hear it for both your ladies in this ring. And they have taken us to a majority decision in favor of the blue corner. Hat.